Good morning, Toronto. We are here live at Go Life Studios. Uh, today we have a uh, very special podcast. I mean, I like to think it's special because, you know, we're here. <laughs> um, uh, today we are hosting up and coming artists from LRL Management. Uh, my name is Kira, and right now I am here with Thet Wynn. Um, say hi, Thet. Hi. Good morning, <laughs> Kira, and good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're in this. Um, so, Thet, um, you have just released a um, new music video for your song lately uh, which was released the music w- uh, was released on April 1st um, but could you tell us like a little bit about like the music video the drop like maybe what was your inspiration for like the song too yeah sure I mean it's uh, I, I think um, you know uh, the the song itself is very relatable to a lot of us um, who's been in uh, uh, you know in relationships and you know we, we We've faced, um, you know, some circumstances due to some some circumstances we've had to grow apart, you Mm -hmm. know, and uh, it just the the inspiration came from that. And um, I think it's very relatable. And it was uh, it was released April 1st and music video just released uh, uh, midnight last night. So I'm very excited about that. Congratulations. Thank you. (laughs) And this is your first music video. Yeah. It's, yeah, my first uh, music video, my first single, uh, my first everything. So it's very exciting. Wow. Starting from yeah. the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So um, so when you listen to the song, obviously, very relatable lyrics. I saw the music video. Um, I felt that, like, like, what was, like... What was your, insp- no, I'm going to say inspiration again, for you know, lack of a better term. But um, how, did, how did you uh, use the music video to convey like kind of what was going on because you had your um it was starring lexi um sorry i forget shanko. her last name shanko yes. yes um she was lovely by the way oh she's Loved, wonderful yeah oh my gosh yeah. so beautiful um but uh your, your music your video really kept me like captured i was like what's going on like in here right um so yeah, yeah if you want to say anything to that yeah it's um it's a it's a story you know it's um i like telling stories mm-hmm. um i um i'm also involved in the film industry so i love um uh you know the the uh, the concept of having something that is relatable and it's a story from beginning to end mm-hmm. and i'm a fan of um you know happy endings so the um <clears throat> the inspiration for the story is that yeah you know we uh we face a lot of uh challenges mm-hmm. um you know when you're in a relationship but uh you know at the end of the day it's uh, it's your heart that you have to listen to and uh, not anyone else so um the video ends with a with a happy ending so yeah um yeah it's a little journey that i i, I like uh, the audience to uh to travel with absolutely me. Yeah. um so let's talk about like your musical background like this is your first release and everything which is really big but like how long have you been a recording artist like what is your background in music besides this release and and everything you know before all this <laughs> Yeah, I um, uh, I play the guitar, mm-hmm. um, self-taught. So I'm, I, you know, it's um, uh, I don't really play well, but I, you know, I know like maybe four or five chords. Come uh, on, so. enough to make a song, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> All the good chords. So, uh, and then I met uh, you know Larry, um, I think back in December, and then we just started chatting, mm-hmm. and um, she said, "Okay, well, send me some something, and we'll see where it goes." So. Yeah. Uh, from there, we just hit it off, and uh, um, yeah, I've always been interested in <clears throat> music. You know, I it's it's I sing, you know, in the shower, and, yeah. and I was like, uh, it's something that I didn't think I was gonna go take it anywhere uh, further than that. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I love uh, rock, you know, classic rock music, mm-hmm. um, and uh, as well as uh, some of the uh, you know modern songs, uh, which. Um, I like I like songs which you can play uh if you were to take away all the the beats and the um you know uh, give me a guitar and I can still mm-hmm. sing the song kind of uh songs. Yeah. I, you know, I love that. We call that the campfire <coughs> test. You know, can you yeah. sing it around a campfire exactly. like cuz then you have a hit right yeah. there, you know, cuz you don't need any, anything else. It's going to be memorable. It's just easy for everybody to sing along to, right? Yeah. So I I can definitely hear like did you draw upon your um interest in classic ro- classic rock and other like songs that you probably listen to for the like 
production of this song, you know? Because I feel like I hear that a little bit in it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, Bon Jovi, Aerosmith, uh, they're all my uh, inspirations, uh, mm-hmm. but also at the same time, you know, uh, on the pop side of things. So I, I would like to consider uh, my genre to be pop rock, but, uh, you know, mm-hmm. when, when Laurie and I, we sat down and we listened to the song, and you know, we're, we're like, okay, what is this? Is this country? Is this rock? Is it, you know, pop yeah. or hip hop? But that's the beauty of it, you know, Absolutely. which is like I, it's such a unique sound that um, uh, I didn't think uh, we would have such a unique sound. But, um, you know, some people think they listen to it and they, they feel like, oh, it's it's country. And then there's mm. like and then there's uh, other people listening to it. No, I think it's uh, it's more of a hip hop. So, it, you know, it's it's kind of uh, unique and, and I, I enjoy it. So, yeah. yeah, it's like never let them know your next move. Yeah, Keep exactly. them guessing. right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so so you so you are you mentioned a little uh, earlier that you are a photographer, filmmaker. Um, how long have you been doing that like for yourself? Um, I've been in the acting industry for over ten years and wow. um, <clears throat> and then I transitioned into being a producer. and now I'm a filmmaker. Um, I direct uh, you know uh, films and but at the, in the back of my mind, I, I've always been, you know, what about music? Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's this like uh, burning desire to to do something with music because I enjoy music so much. Um, you know, uh, both you know classic rock and as well as you know uh, modern songs. You know, even mm-hmm. Justin Bieber songs. And you know, some of the songs, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. This is really catchy. Yeah. Um, so I really enjoy songs. Um, you know even like big vocals like um like uh, you know Adele or Lady Gaga mm. you know like in the, the, so those are all of these are very <clears throat> uh inspirational to me so and in my future songs i think uh, you're going to hear a, a lot of uh, mix of you know um genres coming together absolutely yeah. just keep it creative yeah, right exactly. keep, uh, don't don't <laughs> keep let anything fall off the table yeah. like, keep it all on the table <laughs> oh my gosh um okay well that's amazing like that's that's so awesome that you're you're going from such a long time in like the filmmaking industry and you just no fear you're like music we're gonna go for it like exactly I lo- and, uh, and like the how you say it, it's like a burning desire like like in the back of your mind you're like you knew like music is it i'm gonna do this one day exactly right? yeah so did, you, did you have any apprehension like going from like the industry of filmmaking and photography to now breaking into the music industry obviously it's not like so 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 different at the end of the day but like did you have any fears about that um a little bit yeah but you know just just the the unknown um adventure you know whenever you step into the unknown you know mm. there's a bit of a fear but that's also uh who i am you know i like to just jump into something that makes me uh you know a little bit fearful mm-hmm. um and uh, i'm also you know a spiritual person so i do a lot of yoga and meditation as well and <clears throat> one of the things i uh that my master tells me is that uh you know do something every day that scares you mm-hmm. and that's the only way that you can validate yourself that you're actually stepping out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. and uh and that's the only way to expand yourself so yeah well yeah. i hate masters no best right yeah, <laughs> like, <exactly. laughs> just gotta listen to them <laughs> yeah oh my gosh so do you feel like like do you like what do you feel like you want to bring to your musical career now like and how does does that like play into like what you've brought to your acting career at all or is it like you like you want like the the musical career to be its whole a whole new thing because you kind of mentioned that like you like this the storytelling aspect right which obviously you draw on from you know being a director and like like producing a story for people to understand yeah uh absolutely i mean it's uh i think they go hand in hand um you know being an artist is all about creating mm. and uh, being creative um pretty much all the time and but the more important part is what are you creating and who are you creating this for and i've always been a fan of you know um just touching on you know things that are uh concerned concerning you know our society our community there's mm-hmm. a bit of a message that i want to send uh through films or through music mm-hmm. um you know even with lately um 
the subtle message is that, uh, yeah, circumstances always arise. May it be a long distance relationship or because of the influence of the uh, your, your people around you that you have to break up or whatever. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, you know, the message is that, you know, follow your heart. What do you want? You know, it's like mm-hmm. uh, it's like that message from the notebook. You know, what do you want? Ah, what do yes. You, want? <laughs> you know, so answer that uh, for yourself and not get distracted by, you know, surroundings because at the end of the day you know it's just you and your heart so that's beautiful yeah Yeah, I I totally feel like you've conveyed that through (laughs) the you know the music video and everything and and not just that through the song um I really love the chorus of it um I think it's I think it's a good a good catchy chorus um and I think at that point when I listened to it I was like oh okay I get it like he's like like in this song it's like about the the strain that relationships have and like how working through that is what builds a relationship sometimes even if it doesn't work out like your relationship with uh, another person I mean still may, it might not be like a um, romantic relationship but at the end of the day you still have connections and ties with that person and it's hard to leave that d- depending on like you said circumstances whatever it may be mm-hmm. um, and you know I thought when I was listening I was like you know what? you don't really hear a lot about this in um, like I mean this story like about um, in like pop music I think because like you know it's usually about like we either work out or we don't or you cheated or like now I'm in love with somebody else um so I when I listened to I was pleasantly surprised I was like okay new type of love song I like it well thank you from the heart (laughs) yeah yeah there's a bit of you know um yeah you're right you know it's most of the songs are either about you know uh break up or 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 you're in love Mm. um there there isn't an arc you mm. know i like to create arcs and that's that's uh, same with uh, you know uh, writing screenplay for for a movie it's you, it's mm. all about arc you know you you face the challenges but then at the end, end of the day you know hey maybe you come back and you know you find the um the joy again Absolutely. you know yeah, yeah for sure so. For sure. Oh, my goodness. Well, <clears throat> you have a new single upcoming, yes. right? Very soon. Yes. Um, it's releasing May 6th. Do you want to tell the people a little bit about that excitement there? Yeah, I am very excited about that and because I think it's going to be a, a different sound. Um, you know, it's it's going to be unique and um, it's going to be bigger, but not necessarily better. It's mm-hmm. just different, and uh, I'm really excited to uh, to drop that uh, you know tune and uh, even the music video for that is going to be incredible. I think mm-hmm. you know it's going to be a lot more uh, uh, action and a Ooh. lot more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of excitement to, yeah. to to for this build up, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh so, and it's and it's got a strong message as well, you know. Mm-hmm. And and you'll always have a, a message in, in every song. And uh, for that one, I'm I'm really excited to convey the message that I'm trying to say. Absolutely. Yeah. So, did you produce? Um, are no? Are uh, f- did you produce both the songs? I wrote, uh, wrote uh, the song. Um, 1K uh, is is the producer for the song. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. And for the music video, you directed? No, it was uh, 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 Third Eye. Um, I think Diamond Films. Mm. Um, he he's an incredible team. I mean, we have an incredible team. Oh, for sure. You know, uh, our producer, the the uh, videographer mm. that we have. We we just it's just. It's almost like we're meant to be, you know, yeah. and then we're just creating something that's really unique. Mm-hmm. And I'm really excited, uh, and I'm, I, I always enjoy working with uh, with everyone in, in the team. Like-minded people, right? Yeah. Like people who are going to give the same passion and energy and like love into a project. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's such a it's such a community thing like making art you know yeah like I love it I love it that's why we're here right exactly. <laughs> that's why we're in this industry I'm might excited. not pay well all the time but we're here still <laughs> gotta gotta have the love for it um gosh sorry um so I think we're all good for time though but yeah thank you so much for sharing this with us um thank guys you. remember he has his new uh, single coming out May 6th called Praying. This is uh, Thet Win with LRL Management. And uh, my name's Kira. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Kira. Thank, Thank you, everybody.